Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of the Caligula Effect Overdose. Probably the name of the thing that I'm playing. I don't remember anymore. It's been a while. No, it, it's good. Anyway, we are doing things that I totally remember what those things are and what we should be doing at any given time. So let's continue with it said doing things of the stuff that we're going to do. Do I, do I attack? Like, how to this work again? There it is. Oh, I was going to roll up on you. No useful information in any of the East classrooms. Hopefully, we can learn something on the West side. Ha! I'd really appreciate getting, like, extra murder help people. Oh, I have support action. What is action? Cover 300 SP after a long cast time. Move quickly to target position used to dodge or position for optimal attacks. Emergency barrier. A quick activating shield for emergencies that lasts for a short time. Oh, that's cool. There's so many little intricate things. I like this. I think we're going to have to roll out with the vintage strike again, though. Is that's the one that throws them up in the air? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Um... Okay, okay, yeah, 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 we're gonna do that. Let's chain in action. We're gonna go with dual trigger after that. They're trying to get some hate cannon off. We'll be like a rat tat bang. Okay, can we? Okay, that's fine. And then we're gonna do it again. Hello? Yep, there we go. So, boom, boom, boom. Rat tat bang. Rat tat bang. Yeah, why not? I think that's fine. Rat head bang. Probably could have done something else if I had to, but... I don't think she can get the hate cannon off in time. Maybe she can? Nope, she could not. What does Shadow Pierce? Break the target shield with a powerful blow. Leap backwards while firing forward. So, no. I dual trigger immediately. It looks like I can just probably spam that. Take her down. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna do that. Oh, she still got the shot off on me. I didn't notice. Looked like it hit me for 89. That's probably fine. We've got a world embryo. Huh. Weird and interesting. And possibly disgusting. I, d I don't. I don't know. There's so many of them in here. In this area. There's two in this classroom. Hmm. Oh, well, we can't go that way. Looks like maybe we have to go down this hallway. Alright, well, I got the encounter to start off here. I guess that's fine. We'll do that. And then they're gonna miss. Okay. And then what if I do... the leap backwards? Let's see how this plays out. Rat tat bang! Oh, and then I, I missed. Okay, so no, no, that's not gonna... What if I do another dual trigger? Rat tat bang. Followed by another one. I mean, I guess that's fine. A multitude of attacks. I think we did more damage than we were intending there. We got some crits off. Actually, quite a few crits. This guy's just trying to melee us. It's never gonna work, so... He did decide he's gonna run at us. Let's see if we can't do a vintage strike. Okay, we're not gonna do that. What about Shadow Pierce? What about just dual trigger? He'll hit us, but with Shadow Pierce, he won't hit us. Alright. Knocked us just far enough back, okay. 
And then if we dual trigger after that. Boop. Boop. And then I think one more dual trigger should put him down. Dodge back. Rat tap bang. Rat tap bang. Down. Victory is ours. Okay. Kind of getting the hang of it a little bit here, guys and gals. We're slowly getting used to... Oh, no. We missed. I didn't even know that was a possibility. Aw. Well, I suppose critting's a possibility. Why wouldn't that be? All right. We're just going to annihilate him straight up. Uh, I guess we're going to confirm. Um, confirm action. Ah, there we go. That's that's what we needed. Sweet, sweet victory is ours. Cool. Okay, so... How, how messed up are we right now? Uh, like I, hmm. There's just so much information just like splayed across everything here. Like the numbers are really high, but I, I have no idea how to read them. And did we get any equipment? Any passive skills? I, see, I think a lot of this stuff is still locked. Like we just don't have it. Oh, we do have... Ooh. What is this? Uh, an attack stigma specializing in accuracy. Plus four attack, plus four accuracy. And this is an attack stigma specializing in accuracy as well. So this is plus... Tw oh, well, what was that? What was I doing? Okay. We have true rigor right now. Plus four defense, plus 100 HP and 20 SP. Defense and evasion. I think I'll keep the rigor to stoic. 12 attack, 12 crit. Yeah, no, we're going to stick with a viant. And the uniform, we have no other things. That's fine. All right, cool. Actually, I think I saw some skill there, too. Cool. Oh, we can start changing them out as we get higher in level. Oh, that's neat. We've already leveled two out of three on this one, too. We have four skill points, we can raise it to level three, but we need eight skill points in which to do so. We need twelve to raise it to level two. Oh, that's that's kind of neat. Okay. Alright, that's fine. That dude's got like a weird floating spade or something over his head. I don't know about, I don't want to hang out with that guy. Guy's a little troubling. Turn around, man. I won't fight you right now. I don't know where all you've been. Get. Is he just gonna roll? There's a healing thing in here. I was just gonna attack. Oh, I was gonna try to attack you. Oh, oh, from around the corner. All right. Gonna chuck you up in the. Oh, that is. Nope. Definitely don't want to do that. Hmm. Oh, what if I do this? How about this? How about what if I do this? And I dash over here. Okay, and then from there. What if I use Vintage Strike? I feel like I got hit there. Alright, hold on. We're gonna play around with this a little bit. Move there. Then I'm going to try Vintage Strike. Running past. Let me attack off on the backside. Not too bad. And then. Will Disruption Trigger work for me? Let's see what it does. No. No, it's not really going to work. Alright, um. We could try dashing again afterward. Let's 
So just kind of like a, a, a quick attack here, a little bit of a freebie, and then to zip over here, avoid another attack. Oh, she's going right for me. All right. What does Soul Surge do? Oh. Well, then I say we just do a dual trigger. Just let it go. We're just going to fight this. We're going to get hit no matter what. But we have a decent amount of HP. We're only going to lose about 180. It's fine. Okay, so once again... Advantage strike. I dodged that. Oh, that's actually really good. Okay. Uh, I'll dual trigger... Should take you out. And then she's still down. And then what if we do this one? Alright, so go, go, go. Rat tap bang, down you go. Okay, we'll give that a shot. A little, a little backflip drop kick there to get her. Take her out, miss, a couple of attacks. Shot and a swing didn't quite do anything. Claw hammer hit us. It's fine. All right. Um. DSP used and we don't have much SP. Do we have anything that's just like basic attacks? Forty. Okay, increase evasion. Um. Empty barrier. What if we dash way over here? She's trying to hit us. And then from there we soul surge. Okay, we got that. She's got a doom barrier. Now what if we get the vintage strike or vantage strike, whatever it is, up on her? It's done and... Not in time. Okay. So, Shadow Pierce. Alright, that's that's what we're rolling with. Let's see what happens. We bought ourselves enough time by retreating. Our back is to her. She thinks she's got some skills. She turns. She shields. We smack her shield, hopefully breaking through it. And we put her on blast, essentially, at this point. And she still could get a claw hammer off. That's a uh, crazy sauce. Big hit, followed up with dual trigger. Confirm the action, it'll be more than enough. Gone. Alright, simple and easy. Sweet, sweet, nice style. We got slapped around a bit, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, there was definitely a little bit of slappage going on. Um, do we do we heal up between battles? It looks like we do. 962. There is, what what is this? This is like a loot thing. Attack impulse, smoke and mirrors is drawn out from the soul remnant. Alright. And there's something going on over here. Uh, what's going on? No leads, huh? Well, maybe the others heard something. Let's all meet up for now. Alright. So none of us gained anything of note. Hey, you. You're from the class next to me, right? So I'm researching this rumored go-home club. You know anything? Come on, you've got to tell me if you know something. I'd really appreciate it. Well, you have anything? You're Naruko-san? Why are you so interested in the go-home club? Why? Well, I guess because the secret club's like mysterious and super cool. Oh, and everyone's talking about them. Senpai, could it be that you have some info on them? Huh? huh? I, I, I don't I don't know anything. St cheese stare, really? Uh, anyway, if you're that into rumors, do you have any details on Kagi P? Kagi P? You mean that doll P who's been real popular lately? He's been getting tons of views on all the video sites. I do some streaming myself, but I don't think I'm ever going to get that popular. I'm so jealous of him. Whoops, uh, got off topic. We're talking about Kagi P, right? I might know a rumor or two. 
Really? Could you please tell us? We all became huge fans after hearing his music. I will, but only if you tell me about the Go Home Club in exchange. You guys, you guys are hiding something. I just know it. We're, we're honestly not. Liar. Hold up. You really think the Go Home Club's that cool? Oh boy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're the coolest. Those guys are super amazing. Mm, well, probably. I've even heard they know some big secret about this world. I'm so into them. I bet they're like the coolest people ever. All right. <laughs> you think that we're that cool? All right, here we go. Ta-da, it's us, the Go Home Club. Oh, but don't go telling anyone. Yeah, Kotaro, what the heck are you doing, you idiot? Like, no way. OMG. Oh my gosh. Uh, hold on. Where, where's my phone? I need a selfie for, of this. Hey, no pictures. Whoa! I'm not gonna just hand over my phone. This thing's even more valuable than my life. So, so, what, what, what exactly does the, Do the Go Home Club do? Or the Do Home Club goo? I, I got nothing. How many of you are there? Is everyone here now? What's your objective? Ah, you're really getting on my nerves here. I'm telling you, we don't know any secrets. We're just a group of friends. And more importantly, we told you we told you we need to go look for Kagi P. We're leaving. Oh wait, 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 wait. I have the deets on Kagi P for real. I and Naruko Morita will take you straight to him. Come on, let's go. Our destination is the year three class four room. Time to depart. That's creepy. Hmm. The year three class four room should be on the third floor of the west building. Kotaro, your group should go investigate other areas in case we don't find Kagi P there. Yeah. Oh, oh, and now she's part of the group. Okay. Um, so, so. So, if, like, we continue to fight things with the girl here. Like, being aware that we're fighting, like, is, isn't that going to cause us some sort of issues? I feel like it is. But for now, we're going to come over here. Oh, she stopped. Oh. She took a picture, huh? What was that sound? Yeah, yeah, I wonder, I wonder what it was. Oh, Morita-san, where are all of you heading off to? Hi ho, Mizuguchi san. <clears throat> We're about to head to the third year classroom so we can see Kagi P. Kagi P, that doll P with a lot of fans in our class, right? You know him personally, Mor Morita san? I guess you have a pretty diverse circle of acquaintances, unlike me. <laughs> that, sort of, <laughs> that sort of thing's a piece of cake for me. Alright, off we go. Hmm, is Morita-san causing trouble again? Not at all, she's just taking us to go see Kagi P. By the way, who are you? I'm a classmate of Morita-san's. My name is Marie M Mizuguchi. Morita-san's so obsessed with social media that she doesn't even have any real f or many real friends. Please befriend her, if possible. Now then, if you'll excuse me, I am going to walk away. What are you slowpokes doing? Shouldn't we be going? Well... Maybe? I should stick to searching this floor for now. We made it! The third floor! So our destination should be... Hmm. Where's that Marita girl? Huh? The broadcast room should be right on the other side of this hallway. Why is the door locked today? Why isn't it? I guess he's not going to make this easy. It'll be the long way around, but let's try the hallway on the other side. Alright, Kagi P. That is your real name. Alright, well. Oh, it looks like there's a lost soul there. Oh, I was going to slap the lost soul, but apparently we have a cutscene instead. 
Oh no, there's a shriek. Katono Kashiwaba shrieked. What? Huh? Katono? Well, what happened? Uh, Digi had snatched Katono. We gotta chase him. Quick! Uh oh. Well, this seems bad. Hey, look! That's the same girl from that picture I saw in Gossiper. She's gotta be part of the Go Home Club. Oh, oh, that's off putting. How, how do they know us? Hey, let go. Huh? Well, why the heck would we do that? Wait a sec, these guys are in that picture too. Something's gotta be wrong with them for not recognizing Yu's greatness. Let's capture them all and teach them a lesson. Crap, there are two of them. Whoa, are you gonna fight? I need to get a photo of this. I feel like you're much more trouble than you're worth, girl. What the heck are you doing? Run and hide before you get hurt. I, I, I get it, I get it. You don't gotta get so mad. Just call me when it's over, okay? Oh, this one's got armor. Dang it. Dang it. We're so close to finding the lead. I've had enough. I'm sick and tired of this crappy world. Come in. I'm sorry. Um, you, Kagi P, forget them. You guys really want to keep playing house in this wasteland? So be it. I've already made my decision, though. I'm going to get out of here. Oh, Shogo's shell. Well, all right. Let's do this. Go live! Or live, uh, as she says. Much better than me again. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's got a gun. Like a... Like a... Like a revolver gun. Pant grunt, so this is my power. It's much different from our newbies. Mm -hmm. The individual's heart shapes their form, so no two people will ever have the same result. Are these shackles? Oh, how unnecessary. Hey, you. Shogo awaken too. You can do this. Let's get Kotono back. Or Koto Ono. Ko Kotono? Kotono? Ko Kotono. Yeah, well, that's right. Too many syllables. Why does stop? It's fine. Newbie, I'll lend you a hand or a gigantic gun. Whichever you prefer. Oh, let me just... Yeah, I forgot. We somehow have a... It's fine. You stupid rogues don't even understand Mew's charm. How can you seriously expect to beat us? I'm gonna mess around with you a bit before I take you in. Shogo is a rear guard type character who uses a revolver. He's good at dishing out large amounts of damage depending on the enemy's state, such as being airborne or downed. He's extraordinarily capable with the protagonist who has the skill to launch enemies in the air. So use Vintage Strike to catapult them, then chain it with Shogo's Gunslinger. You can also use the directional buttons to adjust the timing for when the skill occurs on an airborne enemy. Oh yeah, I got this. It's very effective when you want to perform an attack while the enemy is launched. Alright, let's 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 see what we got. This should be fun. Alright, Digiheads, what do you what are you gonna do? Your legs are looking a little bit a little bit uh, weedy. Alright. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and launch with with uh this Bloop. got them both okay so i'm going to confirm that now do I, how do i do i change how, how do i how do i change my do I, I don't can i can i can i change my character or like how does this how does this work Okay, well I guess I don't get to I don't get to do that. That's fine. Alright, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna rat tap bang right after. And then I think I'll do it again. Do one more vintage strike. Okay, so then we wanna do gunslinger. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's that's what I am talking about. Okay, so... Oh, I've already locked the other guy in. Alright, so Gunslinger. Okay, I'm gonna confirm that. Then we're gonna do, uh, I guess... Chain Trigger? 
and then gunslinger again because why not all right so we, we've got this there's no way that they, they survive this Bat tap oh he missed everything oh no i okay that was unexpected yeah that definitely changed uh uh, changed the uh, the narrative a little bit there. <laughs> they weren't supposed to miss. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we got it, man. That was that was really strange. Was not expecting him to completely miss. We got a 100 bonus there. I don't know what that is, but we got it. Whew. Well, we managed to pull through. I guess that where there's a will, there's a way. Thank you for saving me, and I'm sorry for being such a nuisance. Nonetheless, that was a real surprise. Just what was that? His body was breaking apart before my very eyes. Hey, 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 that's the shape of your heart that's hidden within you guys. Basically... Your heart is usually shed away, but it's breaking through the shell and coming out. Well, I've seen newbies become like that, so I'm not surprised. But is it really okay to use this power? Everything will be a-okay as long as I'm here. It's my job to keep your heart in the correct shape, long enough so that it can break through the shell. And Digiheads exist because I'm not there to help them contain their emotions. The power's origin is the same, though. If I was at peak strength, I'd be able to stabilize everyone in Mobius, but as you can see, I can only handle you guys now. I see. Arya, can I have a moment? Huh? What's up, Katono? Kotono? Uh, yeah, uh oh oh this seems bad huh oh, hold on a sec you, you've got to be kidding me her, her shell oh ah screw it go go lie leave a live a there we go oh she's a quick learner oh she got a bow exhale mm, what a strange feeling my body is all tingly so this is my form hey what the heck that was way too fast. You really surprised me there. Sorry about that. I just thought I'd be able to pull it off if I tried. Th that was so much easier for her than it was for either me or the newbie. To think you can just up and awaken from that state, it's pretty abnormal. Who in the world are you? In any case, we have three capable fighters on our side. We could only run away before the newbie came along. But now... Hold on, though. Didn't these guys know we were part of the Go Home Club? How exactly did they... Hey, is it over? Is everybody okay? Whoa, those people look seriously worn out. Are they gonna, like, be alright? Hmm. I'm sure they'll wake up soon enough. So, the Go Home Club is, is involved in some sketchy stuff. I was right all along. I never had anyone attack me at school, though. That was real scary. We most certainly do not do anything sketchy. Anyway, let's head to the year four or year three class four room as planned. Katono can now participate in battle. She's a rear guard type character that uses bow and arrows. With her expertise in healing skills, as well as abilities that can hit enemies with status effects, she can turn the tide of battle in your favor. Nice. I am definitely a fan. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this particular episode. I am going to have to try to skirt past her and get to the save point, and it looks like I will be able to do so. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>